So Nothing cool. anybody says will convince me that Kid Nation is real. It's the first ever Kid Nation. I don't care how many testimonials there is. This shit, these are all actors. <laughs> There's no way. This is so strange. Okay, hello. I need you to talk to Reed about something. Are you ready? Just hold on a second, okay? What? Is Kid Nation actually real? And the amazing part is, these pioneers are children. Kid Nation? The show where they shipped out like 40 kids into that little town. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> what? This is Bonanza City, New Mexico. They had so many lawsuits afterwards. <laughs> We're only aware of five serious injuries happening during taping. Four unnamed youngsters accidentally drank bleach from an unmarked soda bottle. It happened off camera and they all lived, we think. Uh, we were watching funny YouTube videos and there was a critique that came up about the show and Reed's like, that's not real. And I'm like, yeah, it is. Mom and I and Roman really used to watch it every week. We recorded it and watched it. In the 1800s, ran it into the ground. Flabbergasted. Do you remember the chicken? Yeah. We are in need of fresh meat, and we're thinking about killing a chicken. Killing a chicken. Killing a chicken. I, I totally forgot until you brought that all back up. Pull the head out. Nice clean chop. We sped up the natural cycle of life and death. What? What the? F Some set of kids were cleaning and cooking for the other set of kids. The morning after the showdown, we assigned everyone's jobs for each district. They're gone. Say hello to the job board, people. <laughs> that we're doing chores. There was no adults there. They ran everything. I'm a laborer now. This morning I got up at 6. I scrubbed toilets. I did laundry and I hauled a big barrel of water. And I just got 10 cents and I can't afford a game of jacks. I don't know. It's, they sort of had a democracy going. If we have a TV, when are they going to have time to actually watch the TV? It's just better to, to get rid of it so that we don't and have no distractions from the, and the essential work we need to build a city. Yeah, right. and we need more What was the most fucked up part of the show? Oh, I'm feeling like really stressed and really worried. It's just been really tough. I guess I'm just going to have to keep pushing. <laughs> I can't get over it. I can't believe this is real. It's a bad start! And when a powerful dust storm threatened to leave the town without outhouses, it was Zach who stepped up to leave. Everybody! We'll all go outside and re tip the outhouse. This is some other dimension bullshit. This is like, so, oh, this has got to be false reality nonsense. All right, that's your job. You are building a world. No, it's it's really true. And what was the ages were something like from what was the youngest? No adults, and I think I'm gonna die out here because there's nothing. What blows me yeah. away is they like form little social groups and literally fight. That's so scary. Holy! What did you do? I didn't. They're saying they're all complaining that everyone got hurt and everyone was really mad. Okay, who? You go get you go get me people that got hurt. We used to respect you, Greg. I'm no. the village idiot. You're the village idiot. Starting. Okay. I love that there's adults with them. Does anybody want to go home? But they're obviously <laughs> never stepping in to control any of this nope. absolutely incredibly harmful we shit. Set up the natural cycle of life and death. And they're just filling it for forty days. Oh, how are those people not in jail? That's unbelievable. I don't know what parent would sign their kid up for that. I've been the head chef. I've been taking care of all the meals. God, I cannot believe it! When you hear your kid sounding happy, there is no better feeling in the world. And then, 11-year-old David Miles burned her face on a stove while preparing a meal. It's like, oh, here you go. My little eight-year-old, off you go. Go create a society with a bunch of other children. Previously on Kid Nation. The town council, Mike, Laurel, and Jay and Taylor, tried to organize Bonanza City's first religious service. <laughs> only to discover the kids like They must have lied to the parents. They had some sort of candy store there or some. Yep, yeah, they did. Frick, they ate themselves sick, some of those kids. When I went into the candy store, I took a chunk of dark chocolate for the most expensive item. Yum, 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 yum. 
yum, yum. He's uh, like spending our entire salary. They're doing uh, Jaeger bombs with syrup and uh, root beer. <laughs> Alright guys, this has been a really tough week. We've all worked really hard. We've all accomplished a lot. So this party, it's for everyone to have fun. <laughs> Life in Bonanza City is a struggle. I think at this point, we just need one night to go and party on, baby! It was just like a whole sugar fest. It was just nauseating to watch. It's so fucked up. Party on, baby! <laughs> I don't want to watch the season two. It's kind of funny. They're real! Oh my god.